We want to give a big shout out to Sarah Kincaid for sponsoring this video for us. Thank you so much. She is one of the people who wanted us to try these new chicken sandwich items here at Carl's Jr. And we're super excited to do it. And thank you so much to all of the K&J fam who told us about these as well. Let's get into the menu and talk about the new items that we're going to be trying today. The first one is the regular hand breaded chicken sandwich. It's a crispy chicken filet dusted with southern spices topped with lettuce, tomato, and mayonnaise on a potato bun. The next thing that we're going to be trying is their hand breaded chicken and waffle sandwich. And I know this is just calling Jamil's name. A tender all white meat chicken breast battered and breaded in our crispy coating served on a warm Belgian waffle and topped with maple butter sauce. <laughs> That sounds so, 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 so good. And last but not least, we're gonna be trying their bacon and Swiss hand-breaded chicken sandwich. Mayonnaise, bacon, Swiss cheese, green leaf lettuce, and tomato. So you guys, we're gonna do this. They also have chicken tenders. We're not gonna try those today. We're focused on the sandwiches. Let's head to Carl's Jr. and let's order these bad boys. Shout out to the KJ fam, and you're rocking with Kristen and Jamil. And we're back, you guys, for another review. Woo! But not just any review. What? You guys, like we said, this is the battle of the chicken sandwiches. Yes. And today we are at Carl's Jr. trying their brand new hand breaded chicken sandwich menu items. Whoa, I almost dropped it. That's <laughs> all good. I know. Okay, you guys, as you know, there's three new items. We're going to be trying them. We're going to start. We're just going to get into it. Yeah, let's do it. Let's so. Do it. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, so we're going to start with the waffle sandwich, right? Yes, we are. We're going to start with the Belgian waffle Ooh. sandwich. I want to give this to Jamil because, to try first. Okay. We don't okay. <laughs> We don't have a knife today, you guys, so we're just going to be yes. eating off of each other. Sometimes we have knives, some, so, and we can cut it in half. Sometimes we don't. Yes. Luckily, we're together and in a relationship, and yes. we don't mind sharing. So we'll be okay. So <laughs> Yeah, we'll be fine. Okay. Here we go. We're going to do the first bite. Ooh. You guys, that looks incredible, by the way. Look at that. The waffle, the chicken, the smell. It smells incredible. It smells incredible. Look at my family. I know. You guys, you can't smell it, but it does smell so syrupy. Yeah, it does. And waffly. It smells delicious. Oh, that's and it has some maple butter on here. So let's... Let's get it. Let's just do it. Here we go. One, two, three. I feel like we should kind of get a, open it more because I kind of want you guys to see how big this is. Even though it's not that big. Whoa. Okay, there we go. So Honestly, that's it. That that's fire. That's legit. Hold on. Okay, I'm gonna try it now. Wow. That's so good. That maple butter on there. I know, right? Whoa. That hits. Sarah Kincaid, shout out to you once again for sponsoring this. Because Ooh. we didn't even know that these sandwiches were even out here. Mm. Oh no, well a couple people mentioned it too. Yeah. But Sarah, thank you so much for sponsoring this. It's incredible. We're this is a good. good. Mm. Here, I'll take one more bite. Okay. Just make sure it's, this is good. You know, mm. as good as I say, as good as I think it is. One more bite. And then we should describe the chicken. And we'll describe the flavor that we get. Mm. 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 I can start. You start. So, it tastes like chicken. Mixed with waffles. Okay. Is that a good description? Okay. <laughs> so obviously, mm. you know, it tastes like your classic chicken waffle. Um, as you know, obviously the idea of it. The chicken is very tender. It's juicy. It's it's flavored great. I feel like by itself the chicken would taste am amazing. Mm -hmm. But with that waffle, the waffle is very soft, which is good because you don't want like a hard waffle that like mm -hmm. breaks. You know, you want something right. soft that you can squish and stuff like that. Um, the syrup's incredible. The maple really comes out. I mean, it's it's a phenomenal sandwich. I agree. I think the I chicken it. is perfect. It's not too dry. It's not mm -hmm. too juicy. Yeah. Um, and then you have that soft Belgian waffle, like Jamil was saying. So when you first bite it, you get some sweetness right away. Yeah. And then you get this delicious, meaty chicken, well-seasoned, you know, hand-breaded chicken flavor. And then it goes back to the sweetness again, yeah. where you get more like buttery maple tones at the end as well. So it's like sweet, savory, sweet in your bite. Yeah. Very delicious. Mm -hmm. I think Jamil needs to try this with um, syrup because we need to tell you oh, okay, if, okay. if you should have syrup dipped in it. Okay, let's do uh, it. Let's just do it because... For all the syrup fans out there who yeah. likes, who like Dunkin'. Yes. Dumping, dunking? Dunking. 
Stephanie you Moreno. We know you hate syrup. Oh, yeah. So this is also for you. Shout out to you, Stephanie Moreno. Hope you're having a wonderful day. <laughs> All right, here we go. Okay. Got the syrup right Let's here, the pancake if, syrup. Let's see if this adds to it, takes it away, or if it's not needed. It's important to know. It's not needed. Not needed? You heard it here first, to be you guys. honest, it takes away from it. That's well, This syrup's not that good. Yeah. Or something's going on. You're not going to like that. Kristen thinks I'm joking. <laughs> exactly, right? I don't mind it. Okay. Yeah. I actually didn't. I, I liked it. It adds yeah. more sweetness to it. Sure. But you don't need more sweetness because it is already sweet. It's already very sweet. It's already very sweet. I don't sweet. mind it. I think if you want it syrupy. And... Can you put this over there? Mm -hmm. Thank you so much because your area is flatter. I think we want it syrupy and saucy. Yeah. That's what about that. I agree. Mm -hmm. uh, it's good with uh, it's it's good by itself without it. You don't need any additional pancake syrup. There's plenty on here, and this thing's juicy enough where you you you're you're good. You're good with just what it is. So on a one to ten, what do you give this sandwich? Um, I give this a nine. I give it a nine. Mm -hmm. I had the KFC chicken sandwich. I got or the waffle that they had. They had it temporarily like last year or maybe the year before, and it was very good. I think it might have been better than this. It might have been. I don't remember. Oh, better than this. Yeah, it oh, might have okay. been a little better. Okay. So I'm going to say, you know, because of that, I got to give this one a nine. Mm -hmm. But it was good. Um, okay, so let's put this away. Oh, you got to rate yours. I give this a nine as well. You give it a nine I'm too? not a huge fan of salty sweet. Like, I don't need that yeah. in my life. But mm -hmm. it's very good. And yeah. for those of you who do like salty sweet, you're going to like this a lot. I agree. I absolutely agree. Okay, let's try the next one, which is the Swiss. With lettuce too, a and lot of lettuce. Bacon <laughs> and bacon, ch hand breaded chicken sandwich, hand breaded. I keep saying hand breaded, hand breaded. Let's show them the inside. Let's see what. So Sorry, I, you guys, there's problems today. I'm getting syrup all over my hands. <laughs> That's why I keep looking. Here, do you down. want this? Yes, I'll Here, take a nap. Okay. <laughs> oh no! Don't get the syrup. That's okay. 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 You're okay. You guys, this is the real's okay. <laughs> Drill can't function when he has sticky fingers. Well, that for sure. But also, it's like, you know, everything's falling down. Okay, I'm going to show you the inside super quick. Okay. okay. It looks like a regular mayo. Mm -hmm. Bacon, two pieces of bacon. Yep. Swiss, no tomato. Oh, yeah, you're right. I don't... Right? I yep. thought, oh, no, it was hiding. Oh, it's in there? There's a tomato. I told you they throw it in there sometimes <laughs> with Carl's Jr. They like to just throw your food in there so you can't find it. But that's cool. I like this leafy, leafy lettuce. Yeah, you do, huh? Uh, that's my favorite kind of lettuce that are, come on sandwiches. Good, good. Try to take the biggest bite of that lettuce, then that way I don't have to have <laughs> No, nah, anywhere you want. One, two, three. Okay. Wait, it has Swiss cheese on there, right? Um, yeah, there's Swiss. Oh, okay. Yeah, there's Swiss on there. There's the Swiss right there, you guys. How is it? Mm. Not a big fan? Let me take a bite. I enjoy the bacon. I got a big bite of bacon. Mm. I like this. Okay, because I don't think I like it. Well, Swiss and bacon uh -huh. on a chicken sandwich is not for everyone. Yeah, okay. This is, um, they have a lot of sandwiches like that. Sorry. That have chicken, Swiss, bacon, mayo, of course. And it has a certain flavor. Mm -hmm. And not everyone likes that. I, I actually really like it a lot. Um, but I can see how maybe you don't really care for it too much because it's, it's very cheesy. I feel like the cheese is very strong in mm -hmm. there. Right? Mm -hmm. Do you like Swiss cheese? I do like Swiss cheese. You do, huh? But, but not on everything. I don't know. Maybe I'm just not feeling it. But I guess for me, <clears throat> I really enjoy the bacon. Okay. You get bacon right away. Mm -hmm. It just has a, it's very, you can tell it's just a lot of like. Yeah. It's vegetables, which is good, I'm, but I, I just, I don't know. I, you just don't like it. I feel like I'm not giving a good review. I just, I'm not feeling the flavor. <laughs> you can just say you hate it. How about I'm that? just not feeling the flavor. <laughs> like, I wouldn't order it. I don't know why, though. You wouldn't order it again? I normally don't order a chicken, like, Swiss thing. I really yeah, don't. I like Swiss on deli sandwiches. 
Yeah. But I, yeah, maybe I don't like it on like uh, fried chicken. I don't think you do. Yeah. Because if you, you know, this is pretty classic as far as like having mm -hmm. Swiss on chicken sandwiches. This is pretty. I mean, it's 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 not anything like. I'll put it like this: I like the sandwich, mm -hmm. but I've had this exact same sandwich from other places. Like I think Wendy's, if they they either had it or they do have it, and it's similar. It tastes very similar. Mm -hmm. So if you don't like this one, you probably won't like them anywhere. I don't think I do. So you might not like. Yeah, it. I don't think I ever did. Okay, I like it on deli sandwich, but I think chicken sandwiches. I'm not a fan. I do like the bacon. The bacon's delicious. So, um, yeah, I mean, on a one to 10 on that, I just wouldn't get it. I don't like it. Mm -hmm. I give it a seven. Oh, uh, the chicken. A seven? Yeah. That high? You said you don't like it. Well, because I, I feel like it's just because it's my flavor. I, mm -hmm. uh, you know, so I feel bad. Yeah, I probably would rate it like a five. Well, give it what you, feel, what you like. Okay. Know, what you think. Five and a half. Five and a half? Mm-hmm. Okay. Just for me, because it's just not my flavor profile. Mm -hmm. But I just have to say, the chicken, moist, juicy. Mm -hmm. You get a really good breading. The breading's not too crispy. Yeah. It's definitely a softer breading, wouldn't you say? Yeah, I would say that. Mm -hmm. uh, chicken sandwiches, but they're very good. Say that. Honestly, Carl's Jr. has really good chicken. Mm -hmm. Like, I love the chicken that they have with their, with their sandwiches. It's really good. Mm -hmm. uh, I'd give it a seven. I'd actually recommend it. Do you like Swiss and you give chicken? It a seven? Oh yeah. Oh good. Okay. But that's pretty average. I feel like yeah. that's average. I feel like mm -hmm. it's you can have it again. I could eat that again and be perfectly fine. Mm -hmm. The flavor's really good with it. But it's not anything where I would be like bragging, like, oh, you gotta try this new sandwich. You know what I mean? Right. Like it's okay. It's yeah. okay. Mm -hmm. So I'd give it I'd give it a seven. It's pretty standard. Okay. But I'm excited for this next one. This is the classic. We're going right Oh, here. you have it. Okay. We're going the classic hand breaded right. chicken sandwich. This is the big kahuna. It is. This is to decide who is winning the battle of the chicken sandwiches. That's right. Now, I do have to say, I'm happy that it didn't come in one of those foil bags. Oh. You know what I mean? Like, it's like, you know, they're doing their own thing, keeping it, you know, keeping it classic for them. Let's open it up. Okay, so let's take a look. So you got the breaded, heavy breaded chicken. You got a pickle in there, two pickles, or Ooh. maybe three. Yeah. <laughs> Excuse me. You got mayo in there as well. Regular mayo. Yeah, this sandwich looks good. And it's not spicy, too. This is just regular. You Here, go you first. Go. No, 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 I want you to go first. Are you sure? Yeah, possibly. Okay. Thank you. you. Yeah. Okay. And it's pretty, um, yeah. It, it looks similar to the other chicken sandwiches. I would say the bun is a little different. The bun is pretty basic. A potato bun. Oh, yeah. Basic potato bun. Okay. Well, let me know. I wanted to get a bite of the pickle, which is why I maneuvered it. Mm. It's a good strategy. Mm -hmm. Okay, you go. Here we go. Mm. I love that crunched dill. You got a really good, strong dill. Now that there's no fluff, I feel like I can really review the chicken right now. Mm -hmm. And the chicken, the breading is mushy like you don't get a crunch it's, it's not a a crunchy fried chicken right it's mm -hmm. a mushier fried chicken it's i don't mushy. so i don't know if i love that but i think you get really good spices it says it has a southern spice no. i actually kind of like the spice you don't like the breading mm -hmm. spice not at all yeah. not at all look we're 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 chicken sandwich snobs now mm -hmm. <laughs> we've eaten too many of them <laughs> I so, like the breading on it. I think like the, the breading, breading gives a good flavor. Okay, but, that's cool. But that being said, yeah, it's just not the best chicken sandwich. I would say it's more flavorful than Wendy. Or, uh, sorry, not Wendy's, but um, Burger King's. Burger King's chicken sandwich really, or the chicken itself, just didn't have much flavor. The breading on this one does have more flavor. That's true. However, I like Burger King's mayo better. Whatever that sweet mayo was, uh -huh. added more to it, and I like their bun better. Mm -hmm. um, this one's pretty just basic. Like, this one's nothing special at all, mm -hmm. in my opinion. Yeah. In my opinion, it's nothing special. They give a good amount of mayo. Um, the chicken's mm -hmm. fine. The chicken's juicy, but it's also not it's not too juicy. It's not too dry. Yeah. The pickle's delicious. I, I feel like the pickle's not no different than your other ones. Yeah. What do you rate it? No, you're rushing me on this. Oh, sorry. Okay. You gonna take one more bite? Yeah, we take one more bite. I'm gonna give it a zero. All right. No, <laughs> no I, I would. Um, I don't even need another bite. I already know where it's at. Mm -hmm. Where it's at. This is like a. It, honestly, it's low. It's a four for me. I don't like it. 
And it's not because I've had the other ones. <laughs> it's not. It's just, I think... I feel like what they tried to do, and they probably didn't, but that, like this is what kind of my thought is. Mm -hmm. They were like, hey, everyone's doing chicken sandwiches. They're making a lot of money. Mm -hmm. We got to jump on board. Let's just put something together in a month and see what we can come up with. And that's what they came mm -hmm. up with. That's what it feels like to me. Where it's kind of like they try to copy it, but it's, it, not, it, that it's not that great. It's not that great. Because it tastes like it wants to be like those other sandwiches. Like maybe, uh, um, it tastes like it wants to be like a Popeye's. Right. One, but it's just it not, it just doesn't hit. Even the mayo doesn't hit. And I know that yeah. sounds crazy because you would think yeah. mayo like tastes the same, but it really doesn't. No, it doesn't. The mayo doesn't hit on this. Um, I like the taste of the of the breading a lot. Mm -hmm. But all together, I think it lacks. Again, it's a mushier it's not crispy. Yeah. It's not crispy, so it's a mushier chicken. Anyways, yeah, yeah I give it a six and a half. I definitely six think six. there's way better out there. Uh -huh. What do you think about that swish sandwich now? The Swiss. What, oh, what did chicken. I get the Swiss? A five well, and a half? Yeah, five, yeah. I, I give it like a five and a half still. Four, or, sorry, five to five and a half. The Swiss one? Mm -hmm. But in comparison to this one, what would you give it? I didn't like the Swiss. You didn't like the Swiss? I actually <laughs> yeah. prefer that. This you prefer that one? Oh, for huh? sure, yeah. Oh, wow. I get why you like this one because you'll enjoy yes. it. The, yeah. You know, if that had bacon on it, the regular chicken sandwich, and you add bacon. Yeah, it'd be a little better. Yeah. Size. Yeah, okay. Carl's in your stepping game up. Step it up. <laughs> Step it up. But keep the waffle. Keep the exactly. waffle, Belgian waffle on the chicken. Yes. That was really good. Don't get rid of that one. Please yeah. don't. I'm tired of fast food restaurants getting rid of good stuff, by Me the way. Too. I went to Taco Bell the other day. They got rid of the quesalupa over here. Oh, they did? Yes. Uh, I know a lot of people probably didn't like that, but I loved it. I loved it. And I'm mad. We should protest. I'm not really mad. I'm sad. No, we should protest, <laughs> protest. when they do that. Go out there with a picket with a board, you know, just stand outside. So, you guys, we did do the Burger <laughs> We did the burger King chicken sandwiches review. Watch that if you haven't already. Yes. I am going to say overall, I think we enjoy, I know we enjoy the Burger King yes. chicken sandwich review over yeah. the Carl's Jr. So, Burger King is winning. So, where do you give this overall as far as in comparison to chicken sandwiches from mm -hmm. which our favorite was, was, was KFC, KFC all yeah. the way down to where it is oh, now? Yeah. Where do you give this? Lower. I would definitely, it's, it's, it's more, probably the is it the worst? Well, to me, it's touching on McDonald's level. Yeah, McDonald's it's better is the than worst. McDonald's. <laughs> it's better than McDonald's. But I do think it's towards the bottom of the barrel yeah, because Wendy's is better, Burger King, KFC, Popeyes, yep. Chick Fil A, of course. Chick Fil A. We tried Arby's. I think Arby's was better yep, too. Yeah, Arby's was better. So I want to say this is second to last. <sighs> but just this last sandwich, just the last yeah. sandwich, you know, because we're rating that. Yeah, again, Belgian waffle was high, mm -hmm. and then you liked the Swiss. I, like I didn't like it, so we had a split review on that one. Yeah. So. You guys, well, try these out for yourself. Let us yeah. know what you like. Again, everybody's different. Yes. But I definitely don't think Carl's Jr. is winning on number one here. No. <laughs> not at all. Not if you guys think that, mm, you know. Yeah. I don't think okay. anyone's going to think that after eating that potato bun sandwich. <laughs> yeah. That bun's nothing special. But anyways, yeah. um, once again, uh, Sarah Kincaid, thank you very, very much once yes. again for sponsoring this video. Mm -hmm. uh, we really appreciate that. We can't thank you enough for that. Thank um, you. So we're, we're very excited to continue this battle of the chicken sandwiches. If you guys know of any other restaurants that are doing these chicken sandwiches, we're there. We're going to try them out. We're here for you. Absolutely. And again, shout out to all of our K&J fam who suggested we try this. Yes. We love your... Um, your ideas, your opinions, your suggestions. So mm -hmm. please keep sending them our way. Absolutely. If there's anything new, new menu items that you awesome. want us to try, let us know. Cool. Until next time, guys. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share. Sharing is caring. Let your friends, family know what the Kate and J fam are doing. And until next time, guys, we hope you have a wonderful day, evening, or night, whatever time it is out there. And we'll see you in our next video. Mm -hmm. Peace. Peace out, child.